Hey, welcome back guys. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. We had the horde fighting dark green and yellow, and then we had UTL and I trying to fight off uh, trying to fight off the entire North Alliance, but not doing a very good job of it between us. So let's go ahead and start the game up again and we'll see. Oh look at that, it zoomed out again. I totally didn't have to restart the replay and wait for 38 minutes, or not 38 minutes, but times eight speed, however long that takes. Like I said, God, doesn't this friggin' stasis trap minefield look awesome? Just in love with it. Good job, Nerzulin. Every day I'm Nerzulin. Torn on the uh, 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 front lines. Stasis trapping your ass. I don't really know the words of the song, because I'm just making it up as I go. Oh my God. All right, let's slow it back down. Dark Green's trying to push in and do some damage to these back units. But it's scary. With that many stasis traps, he could just get frozen permanently. Oh, he's definitely going to lose a few champions there. Isn't this just a mess of color? I'm willing to bet you all those small hit point things, those are all dark green stuff. Yeah, get out of there, guys. Oh, what is this? Stealthy dark iron shooters. That's kind of cool, actually. They're behind the lines. Nobody knows. Our forces are under attack, guys. We finally get pushed back completely. And I'm saying, nope, nope, I'm going to go over here to this Tomb of Relics, and I'm going to buy a Tyrol of Town Portal, and I'm going to leave. Oh my god, these stasis traps are just everywhere. It's mind-boggling. Pink and gray control, there are some, there are some idle units in Cali, says Noddle. Oh, he's saying, can I control? Of course. You're saying, oh my god, if you could see my screen, you would see nothing but just a, a picture. It's not moving. <laughs> UTL saying, yeah, it's kind of where I'm at too, buddy. Sorry. Looks like Gray and Pink are going to push out, but, I mean, where the hell is the North Alliance forces? Did they swing back around? Confused. Oh my, okay, they did swing back around to try to chase out some of these, these stray units they are picking off as control points. Oh, that is mean. Just going and grabbing everything. We can see suddenly Aerithor is down to 17, whereas the Horde, oh, they're sitting at pretty numbers. And all these raiders are just going to do so much damage to control points and buildings and reinforcements. And oh, this champion just gets caught by nothing but ogres and he's going to die. He's going to die. Oh, he's not going to die. Steak, you weren't paying attention. Purple is just doing whatever he wants to do. They finally teleport out of here. Did I finally just... No, but I'm pretty sure I've got it on a, somebody here somewhere. Yeah, Malganus has that scroll of teleportation, because I'm angry. And the whole game, Guy was like, hey, you want to give me that? You want to give me that skull? And I had no idea, but I'm going to find out later that when he uses the damn skull, I lose one of my stealth Dreadlord heroes. Oh, it makes me so angry. And then I just get this stupid normal Dreadlord hero who's totally visible all the time. It drives me crazy. Orange says, you know what? No, we're not going to let you stay. You gotta leave. And oh my god. Look at this. Drekthar 4 4. Is he gonna get caught? Is he gonna kill Drekthar? Yeah, getting rid of one of those mana regen auras. Oh, but, but Variant. Okay, good. He doesn't get caught by the Ogre Bash. That was a good snipe there. Getting rid of those mana regen heroes are very important. I think Pink has like three of them two demi heroes and then one hero. It's crazy. And. Orange, Yurg, and Simiel about to force their way into UTL and I's rectums. Not good. And meanwhile, it's going to just go ahead and start stealing control points and Outlands because why not? They control everything. Look how quickly they just fenced off the Alliance. They said, you know what? We're just going to take this big swath here. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, they're pushing in. And I'm realizing I'm going to die. And if I lose all these units, I don't have the money to replace them. So, I hate to say it, I'm not proud, but I do the same thing UTL does and I just get the hell out of there. Luckily, leaving behind. Come on, Dreadlord. No, Dreadlord. I forgot Dreadlord got left behind. That's so sad. He reveals. And he's like, no, I'm gonna stop him. I'm gonna stun him. I'm gonna. Get out of there, Bogatus! Oh, God. Okay, we're safe. I was really afraid he was gonna stun me. And I was just gonna lose my mind. Meanwhile, the Horde, trying to push in, but. Stake on Spear can just keep spamming these shockwaves and try to break down not only the units but also the can, can towers with time. 
Looks like he's breaking these trees to give himself a more wide open <sighs> more wide open area to deal with because he does have the bigger army. You have to remember, Dark Green has a small, mobile, very strong army. If he can fight in the choke points and the trees, he's made stronger by the existence of these, whereas Stake is not. We'll also enable Stake to place his catapults here and start bombarding Stormwind from the outside. What's going on? Cleaning out Skolomance, that's right. <laughs> Our town is under attack. So the most exciting things right now is just right here. And is Yellow pushing? Yellow tri yeah, Yellow Man to push him back a little bit. Not too much. I don't know if he has the upgrades for these mortar teams. The mortar teams have an upgrade called Fragmentation Rounds, which allow them to do more damage to normal armored units. So it can make raiders much easier to deal with. Oh, that poor thing. Come on, at least pop your invulnerability thing once before you go. Be a man, you. There you go. You must be swift as a coursing river, with all the force of a great typhoon, with all the strength of a raging frost wolf, mysterious as the dark side of Archimonde. Archimonde's not out. I wish he was. I miss Archimonde. Oh my God! If Thane actually gets out of those. He's saying he blocked Big Rock, Black Rock. Did he? Yes, he did. Ha! Ah, that's scary. Finally, Talon decides to close YouTube and stop lagging it up. Meanwhile, Thane's doing some damage, trying to kill these raiders. But, oh god, he's got to watch out because if Pink can flank him, it's no good. Pink can break down these rocks at any time to try to force his way in there. Ordo, wisely not... Not forcing the engagement. Meanwhile, I said, you know what? I want the eye. I've got two level 11 heroes. If I can get the eye, I can actually do some damage. I can actually... These upgrades will start mattering. Oh, they're killing off the last of red stuff. Pink. Oh, pink just forcing his way in. Yellow trying desperately to hold on. What is this? This looks awesome. Empowerment of the Inferno. Attack rate and movement speed are increased. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming that's a Dark Iron specific thing. Good choice to be fighting here for Yellow. He's going to get the Vampiric Aura on these Thanes. Really helpful. They're at 3-0. What's Pink at? 4-1. That's right, because Pink is just going pure support units. Meanwhile, Gray just can't break in here. He's trying to come in here and bombard. He blew up the Arcane Sanctum here. So, Oh my god, he blew up quite a lot of stuff here. So Dark Green will have to rebuild that if he wants to have any chance of building priests. But Gray can't Gray can't really do any more damage at this point. Looks like Pink's gonna try to force his way in. And just That's not going well for Pink at all. Uh if Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know why everything shut off there for a second. I'm sure you were still watching the replay, but I just disappeared on you and you just got to watch Pink force Yellow back. I think Yellow could have held, believe it or not. Anywho, like I was saying, if Nerzunwan is smart, he goes ahead and targets that tavern, which is healing all the units, plus the Vampiric Aura. It's very tough to kill those things with that going on. If I cut out randomly, we're going to have to stop and figure out what's going wrong. But meanwhile, Gray still not able to force his way in, and I... Trying to get that eye. With all my units. Pink! Just beating down the dwarves' front door saying, Hey, hey, knock, knock. Yes, hello, who's there? It's the orcs. Can you go away? We're really not ready right now. And Pink saying, Teal, can you just go ahead and tower up our shores like crazy? Because they don't want to get dropped. And to be fair, it does actually become slightly difficult to drop them. 
more damage being done. And I'm just gonna start spamming abominations because I got a buttload of money from killing all those things. And pink just streaming in more units, more un more witch doctors, more catapults. Oh, another minefield full of these stasis traps. It's great. He's gonna go ahead and kill this off. Hopefully he's got pillage so that he's getting money from that. And the North Alliance sort of just doesn't know what to do with themselves at the moment. They've stabilized. Oh, by the way, you guys saw UTL dropped. I'm all alone. I'm all alone, guys. I have nobody. That was so sad. And I, you know, I said, you know what? I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to be awesome instead. So I go ahead and just start throwing away units, abominations, go get in there. Also, I'm pretty sure that every time I upgrade stuff, all the undead creeps on the map also get upgraded because I'm at 2-2. And suddenly, so are these creeps. Coincidence? I don't think so. 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Oh my god, and what does Brown do? Brown decides, well, I'm kind of dead, so I'm just gonna start stealing your control points. So annoying! What's this? Pink's just leaving him alone. Pink says, you know what? I'm just gonna take your control points. That's enough for me. That's what I'm gonna enjoy. And Dark Green's still forced to sit in here. Yellow, very, very nicely helping out with these units so he can take care of those Zeppelins should they try to drop his ally again. It's very thoughtful of him. Where are you going, Grom? Grom, where you think you're going? You think you all cute, Grom? What you up to, huh? What you up to, Grom? <gasps> oh, shit. Really? They teleported back just for this water? Oh, no, that's what the North Alliance is doing. Holy crap, I take it back, guys. They decided to go play with the Horde. Let's take those health bars off because it's just meaningless. I mean, this fight looks meaningless as it is anyway. Oh, you can see. I'm trying to drop those lightning shields, uh, but the priests immediately dispel it, keeping those chain heals going. But between chain heals and healing wards and... God, these farsers, it's just a chain heal massacre. Oh my god, but Gray with the flank. Gonna have to pull some units back, try to block this off. I think they can hold, but Simil getting a little bit of, you know, cold feet, backing up all the way. Come on, guys, no, you can do this. You can hold the fight. Just pull back so that you're just fighting right there. You're good. Oh, there go the shockwaves. Not that much damage, considering the fact they're just spamming chain heals. Oh my god, can you guys see what's going on? Because I can't. Look at those health bars. So many health bars! Oh goodness. Okay, he's trying to build a town hall, and somehow it's still working, and these peasants are just standing around like, I don't... This is really terrible. They're frozen in fear. They're just kind of like, I'm shaking their heads and picking their nose and just hoping, hoping that they don't get noticed by the demolishers. Teal in on the fight too! Oh my goodness! Meanwhile, Brown's still stealing my control points like a debug. Ugh. Driving me crazy. Hargath is level 9. If he gets level 10, he can do some mean stuff. And he's got the Lord on... Oh, he's got the Lord on crown! That's where that fucking crown went. Sorry, guys. I was pissed off later because I kept fighting... Um... <laughs> I kept fighting the North Alliance, and I was like, Karathos had it. Where'd it go? And it was just gone. <laughs> Makes more sense now. We're going to see me get a little grumpy at the fact that I lose one of my heroes soon because Elodin's going to go back to Kalimdor, get that skull, and take away my hero. You son of a bitch, you took away my hero. Oh, and the alliance has been very convincingly driven off the shores of Kalimdor. Not a problem there. I have a small base here, and I decide, you know what, I'm just going to sneak. I'm just going to sneak. It's no biggie. Just got my dreadlords. It's cool. I'm just going to sneak. Speeding up times two, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Green saying, well, this took a dark turn. Yeah, maybe you guys should have been taking back those control points while they were really busy. Our brethren's town is under attack. <laughs> Me Our telling them, Geed, I'm not going to give you the goddamn skull. I totally forgot I don't have skull. So I land my dreadlords here. Our town is under Light attack. blue declaring war on Canada. That's fine. He's just trying to get some free experience here. Our brethren's town is under attack. Now, Nerzulin saying, quick, go east. We've got to hurry and do some damage. Some damage, man. Kill got to do some damage with that stuff. And I'm just so happy. I've got my Dreadlord squad. I think I've got the Dreadlord. Yeah, Oh, I did end up going Dreadlord specialty. Because they were really the only units I had that were effective. And with the eye, I could just run around and summon little tiny armies. Look at that, Doom Guard. So awesome. 1600 health. I could just summon it every few minutes. And I get five of these permanently. Meanwhile, Gray, Gray, still going to be landing on the shores. Light blue, still being a pain in the ash. Well, brown, technically. 
I think I try to hunt him down at some point. I get a little grumpy with him. He's all over the place. Is there anything exciting going on? Oh my goodness, more water elementals all the way across the ocean, guys. He is literally sending armies of water elementals just across the ocean. That's annoying. That's great. I'm so happy to see that. And here I am just sniping these control points in the back from Leia, pink and gray. Sending my demons to go ahead and kill some stuff over here, too. Demons are pretty good, guys. And almost every demon unit has an activatable, activatable ability, so keep that in mind. If you have excellent micro, you can do a decent job, actually. And here I am. God, I just... I, I, I just sit here letting UTL keep... Uh, and Samil decides, I'm just going to start stealing control points, because obviously Az Azathen doesn't care about them. Does Grace love this control point? Yes, of course Grace loves this control point. Where are their armies? Looks like they're filing up here. Okay, I finally summoned some fell stalkers. Go ahead and kill these guys. <laughs> There's one saying blues in Outland. God damn it. Yeah, I am, but I've took all your control points too. How does it feel? Suck it. Our forces are under attack. There we are. Gonna clear out the last few plink, pink, plink, plink units. Uh, Gray saying, no, no, I still want to kill Dark Green. Dark Green hasn't come out of his hole in that whole time. Taken out a champion, good job. That's going to be a pain in the butt to replace unless Gray has the all the way upgraded uh, home bases. I peek my head out and go, nope, nope, there's Horde out there. Meanwhile, Yellow, Yellow's pushing in as well and Pink goes, oh crap, I've got a backup to deal with that. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to say, well, if you want to, if you want to be that way, I'm just going to poke out again and see what's going on. These champions are now 6-7. What are Gray's upgrades sitting at? That, does, that doesn't tell me anything. Come on. Champions. Okay, 8-5. So focusing mainly on the attack. We're going to slow this back down because now it's going to get exciting. Oh my god. Bolvar! Bolvar, you're going to be fine. You've got the ultimate shield, Bolvar. Someone here have the... I'm trying to figure out if any of his heroes have the crown. Okay, you obviously don't. Where's Pretty Boy? No, Pretty Boy doesn't have the crown. Who took that south crown? Alrighty, guys, we are at an hour. And now it looks like we're going to be going to part three relatively soon. We're going to go ahead and do about another ten minutes in here. Speed up times three. You're going to see me fight in this hallway. Nah, let's go back. You're going to see me go, come on, Pink, I can take you. I've got stuff. I was wrong. I can't take him. Not with this. God, so many stasis traps. That would explain why I still have so many when he and I were fighting. But I'm just kind of spamming, dropping, doing stuff, trying to keep him busy. Yeah, doing the damages, baby. you got to remember that I AoE ability is pretty good. But he's just spamming, chain healing. I can't actually do that much damage. I, I can't do tons and tons of upfront damage yet. I can be annoying. I can summon armies. I can eventually, given time, have a pretty considerable force. But it's going to take a while. Looks like Dark Green manages to push him back out and says, Nope, get out of here. Because Gray thought, well, I can help Pink. But nope, Dark Green pushed out at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and just get the hell out of Dodge. I'm going to go by a <laughs> scroll the town portal. Research. And there's nothing that can be done. I mean, there's just scouts and more and more water elementals being sent all the time. Isn't that beautiful? I'm in love with it. He even drops off a ton of these Hydromancers so they can just sit there and summon Elodin. Hanging out here with Cataclysm lore isn't happening. Oh man, the ma Maelstrom Passage. I miss you. you. Used to be right in here. I'll always miss you. Our town is under attack. Oh god, I cannot believe this game is not... Oh god, there's so much... Like In my mind, I know what happens, so... I know it's coming, and I can't believe that we still have an hour to go. It's ridiculous that it all hasn't happened yet. And I'm kind of just dicking around with these Dreadlords, thinking maybe I can get a snipe on Art, you know, Thrall. I mean, the Doomhammer would be a really nice snag if I could get it, but I'm worried. Oh, he's got the... He's got some reveals, so... There he is, throwing down those Sentry Wards very intelligently. Those Casters, really great. Those Troll, it's the Troll... Troll Witch Doctors. 
You've got stasis and healing ward and sentry wards. They're awesome. They can deal with everything I can throw at them. I take it back. Pink, pink support pink is awesome. Gray kind of has dark green back up against the ropes. Uh, dark green doesn't want to push out too much so you can get flanked. Gray has many more control points than he does at this point. And we can see Frostwolf Clan, tons of control points. Pink is dominating the map by far. Not close behind is gray, light blue. They're all allied, by the way. Yes, they are all allied. I know, it sounds crazy, right? But it's true. Not much going on at the moment. Just more and more annoying water elementals. And Orange finally manages to set up a base. Oh my god, okay, they're actually fighting. I take it back. There we go, trying to keep Arthas alive on the front lines, but Rexar is looking pretty beastly at level 10, isn't he? He's in avatar mode. Oh my god, I can't see what's going on. Can you? Woo! Wyverns flying all over the place. That's got to be someone's ultimate. Because those wyverns are just... Yeah, it's got to be somebody. Who's casting repeatedly? I can't actually see. Silverhand Paladin staying invulnerable, trying to do some damage. Can they take out Rexar? Nope, Rexar is just literally hacking his way through the army. Not a problem at all. It looks like they're going to get chased back. Oh, but a good portion of those units are going to get stuck if they're not careful. And Jaina gets left behind. Is he going to use Dalaran to get out of there? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Both your heroes are there. <gasps> spamming, spamming, and Jaina's going to die. Uh, pretty comfortable saying, nope. Jaina, where are you? Oh my god, Jaina got out of there? What? Rexar, just one shot her. <laughs> Some scary stuff. And Grom! Grom has the Aerithor crown. Good! And he's got the gloves and the horn and boots. He is really scary. Are they going to be able to do any damage? No, are they going to have to run away? I think they might have to run away against too many units. And Rexar is just not dying, man. Not with those chain heals on him. Oh, my goodness. My town is under attack, I know. Where are my heroes now? Heroes? We're going to land. Oh, that's right. I tried to land here and do some damage. I was like, I'm totally going to sneak up on Pink and Gray because I, I know they're back in Eastern Kingdoms, and I'm positive I can do some damage. I had no idea this. The Book of Eagle! I don't even know what it's for, but get it, it looks cool. Yurg manages to grab the book. Is he gonna is he gonna get out of there? He does, he summons out of there with all of his Kirin Tor. And I land on the beaches thinking, yeah, they're totally out of place. They're not gonna have time to come over here. Man. They must have, okay, I gotta say, Teal and Pink and Gray must have thought that I was allied with the Alliance because my attack timings have been perfect every time. It's just like... Oh my god, we just finished with one stressful... What the fuck is Blue doing here again? See, and I'm sitting there going, Oh my god, what the... They're already here? Okay, they only have a... Oh, look, they have everything! They have chain heals! What the... Oh, you're about to see me get really mad. Okay. I want to state for the record that I'm awful at mouse control. But I want to state for the record... That I was trying to get in the ship, okay? You're going to see me do something, and I swear to God, I was clicking on the ship, and it would not move. I was just like, oh, God, this fucking thing can see me. Oh, it's so annoying, this stupid bird, and I can't I can't attack it. Oh, I can't quite kill it yet. Oh, get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Just get on the boat. Please get on the boat. Please. Boat. Boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Just get on the boat. Oh, my God, I'm going to lose the eye. Get on the boat. Mother. Yeah, I'm saying, wow, the boat would not let me load. It literally wouldn't. I was clicking on that boat repeatedly. Nothing happened. And meanwhile, he's spamming all these ships up here because he really wants to kill off that hero, but he didn't have any shipyards closer by. Oh. And there's Zulin saying, you know what? Screw it. Uh, I call very good game. It's a draw for me. Neither side can get complete win. Not entirely true, actually. He's saying you are all versus us and Teal. Not actually true. We we weren't trying to be against you. I was attacking whoever I thought. So Nerzulin says, I'm hanging out. Bye. Later. Oh, Nerzulin. I wish you hadn't left. But as you guys can see, we still have 
plenty of time to go. So let's speed this up. And what does that mean? Everyone's going to say, hey, Azathen, I love you. You know that, right? You know I love you. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not saying they actually love me. What they're actually saying is, Azathen, we're going to bone you. Is that okay? And I'm going to say, but why, guys? I thought we were, I thought we were buddies. <laughs> He's like, I love you. You know that, right? He's like, yeah, I love you too. And Samuel says, I love you more. And, and you love me. You said that. It's a thing. I did say it. But what are they doing while they're professing their undying love? They're going to land on my shores and murder my face. And all this while, dude, you know what? You know what happens? Stake on Spear, he doesn't get bitchy. He doesn't get angry. He just gives some control points to Felhord, gives some control points to the Sentinels, and says... Oh, God, that... Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna take the skull and piss me off. <laughs> and, yep, the Alliance is gonna invade Northrend, where my Dreadlords are quite unhappily sitting, going, Oh, uh, fuck, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Aerithor has regained its dominance, managed to push out some of the armies, and, oh, God, Orange cleaning up my base. Uh, blue ally, I'm saying no. No, I'm not gonna ally. I'm fine. I'm really good. But thank you. I appreciate the offer. So they lost the, they lost the crown. Does that mean the alliance has the crown somewhere? My guess is they probably do. Uh, they're just taking over all my control points. They're just gonna wipe the floor with me. They're even in there. Oh, they are even in there. Oh, man. No, light blue! When did light blue get to Northrend? Takuri had so many pains in the asses, and UTL's gone, so I'm thinking I can maybe make a last stand. No, nope, no, nope, not enough damage. Oh, Kael'thas. <sighs> Fucking Kael'thas had the crown, did he? I was looking in the wrong place this whole time. I was thinking Anisterion or Garethos or maybe even Arthas. No, it can't be Uther, because Uther's not there anymore. But mm, maybe it's even Orange's heroes. I never even thought of Kael'thas. Urgh, grumpy pants. And I'm totally going to be like, I can hold it off, guys. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Whatever. Look, it's an army. Who cares? It's a big army. <laughs> it's a really big... And even with the help of the throne, which I do try to use as much as possible, it's not looking too good for me. We can see. Oh, God. The Frostwolf Clan is going to start taking over uh, Pink's control points. But before that happens... See yellow and dark green, they're not gonna sit by. They know something's going on, they've been given a reprieve. What they need to do is push. They need to push, get more control points, get more space, more breathing room, and don't let other people build up. So, ooh, they're gonna push and start doing some tons of damage. Oh god, they're doing so much damage. And I am not succeeding very well at holding here. I do try to use reanimate dead to hold just a little bit longer, but oh the chain heals. Dreadlord sitting back here, very unsure of what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I don't know if I can step in here safely without their, you know, casters spamming me. With tons and tons of stuns. I don't want to lose the eye. The eye is my only saving grace at the moment. It's sitting on Tychondrius. Is it on Tychondrius? Yeah, it's on Tychondrius. I have boots and rings on both heroes because I don't want to lose them. They're very important. And what is this? Oh my god. Orange! Yurg is getting his face beat in. I can't believe it! The Alliance is just attacking. They, they don't care. They're just in the fight. They're gonna go ahead and kill these. They're gonna make sure that they kill the gates so that they don't, don't get closed on them and some big surprise happens. Because what if Orin summons back and he's got a big army in my face? But they're realizing, God, they if I can just kill the front the throne, we don't have to worry about Arthas ever going bad. We don't have to worry about losing our hero. And we can pretty much say, oh, blue's not a danger anymore. At least they think they could say that. Oh, they were wrong. But tons of damage going down. You can see I can't really do any significant damage to this army. Meanwhile, oh my god, Dalaran is destroyed. They can't teleport out. Orange's safety net has been yanked out rather unceremoniously from him. Chaplain's coming in, being good, being cool. Uh, they finally broke him through, and I go, oh, Jesus Christ. Now let's what? You see that? I just lost a hero. I just lost a hero for no reason. And suddenly... The eye is just sitting there, and I almost have a shit fit. I because I don't realize it immediately. 
but oh green does and he runs over to get that eye oh and i no fuck you anisterian i'm gonna burn all that man in beat the come here yeah i'm getting that eye i'm getting out of there oh i i accidentally get it on one of my dreadlords so i'm gonna have to kill him later to get it off him by the way guys if you don't know you can't remove the eye of sargeras from play from a person you have to kill them to get it from them because supposedly the demonic energy is so corrupting that they will not willingly let it go here's what i don't get they just leave it it's gonna come back it's gonna come back and bite him in the ass later they're just gonna leave it who do i get to replace my awesome hero with finger of death and he's invisible i get anetheron this asshole what is he he's stupid he just stands there looking all visible and shit Oh, I hate you, Anetheron. You're so stupid. I don't even end up using you. Die, and I don't res you because you're, you're an idiot, and you suck, and you're no good for my purposes. <laughs> Light blue snagging some control points, too, because why not? Let's pick the corpse of blue thoroughly clean. Oh, and that's right. I put Anetheron because red just had transport sitting here. So I was like, yeah, I'll totally put Anetheron on that transport and get him out of there. I'm not thinking this through. I'm not thinking this through. Let's watch what happens when Red dies. Let's watch what happens when the throne goes. My hero is sitting in a Red control ship. Transport ship. And... Go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, I don't know either. Where the, what the hell just happened? Oh, that's right. Um, Let's slow that back down. Now we don't know where my hero is. Where is enough? He's in a boat, but but usually when you click on your hero, you can control the boat he's in, right? <gasps> no, no. Um, it's now a neutral creep. My hero is inside of a neutral creep. That's that's awesome. That that felt really good. Meanwhile, yellow and dark green are just steamrolling over purple because purple had to kill me, and pink is trying to land back here, I believe. No, they're just still showing pink there for some reason. Need and me, I'm saying, oh, mother, my, my hero is in a ship. It's driving me nuts. Come on, stake on spear. Yeah, stake on spear, you're cool, man. Let's see what your heroes are up to. Being a badass in Northrend, of course, because you know, well, he just died, so he figures if I can kill the Alliance, they're probably pretty weak. I can snag some uh, items and whatnot. No, the Alliance already bailed. They've gotten the hell out of here. They're not going to stay for that long. And I don't know if these creeps get killed the entire game. We'll check back in on them in like five seconds. What's being attacked? Oh my god, Light Blue is doing some raids on the asshole who dares mine his force. And I land back on the shores, try to do some damage. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rabble, rabble, rabble. rabble. I'm gonna summon some demons. We're under attack. Samil, want to see me insta kill Stratholm? Oh no. Juku with the steam tanks. We're under oh my god. Ah, it's awful. <laughs> Stratholm goes down. Juku says, well almost instantly meanwhile gray taking all these control points he's back up to 24 what is this he's almost good with the Arathor. Arathor and dwarves though looking like the real scary contenders right now you cannot trust them and uh, juku saying god dark green is just op it's not really um <laughs> it's not invulnerable but it is hard if you feed a dark green and you let him just sort of upgrade you're gonna have a bad time Alright guys, we're going to pause this right here because what we have happening is yellow and dark green are stampeding. They've thoroughly wiped out both orange and purple. So green is now towering up. We have the horde is successfully taking over Northrend. The alliance paid the ultimate The... <laughs> oh look at that, my voice went really deep. We're going to restart it. So the alliance played the paid the ultimate price in order to kill me. Alamdor is firmly in the hands of the enemy. I'll see you guys in just a little bit.